Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is now day 29 as the Democratic Republic of Congo. So just to give you an update, because there's been a lot that's happened since the last uh, recording, I basically knocked out Algeria really quickly. And then I pushed over into, and took uh, this part of Algeria, but then there was some conversation with my alliance and we were talking about France. And it was determined that I would go ahead and knock out France. Now, if I came over here, and it may still be like this, let me check out France. But they had given me access to their, yep, not anymore, but they had this here turned on where it was right away because they used to be in the alliance and then they left the alliance. And when you join an alliance, it gives everybody in your alliance right away through your territory and they give you right away through their territory. The issue being though, is whenever you come out of the alliance, it leaves that setting there. And so this uh, fellow here did not change the setting. And basically what I did is I moved people into these cities here, uh, or Iran, Algiers, Tunis and uh, whatever this place is down here, Nut, Nutut, or something like that. Anyway, and I think this city here too, I basically moved troops in all their cities. They had nobody anywhere except for over here. And so as soon as I switched into the war footing, I immediately seized all these cities. And then we had an engagement down here, but I had aircraft standing by. And so I knocked them completely out of Africa last night. <clears throat> okay. Now what we're doing up here is I'm I came up here and as this was this Corsica or something like this and I and uh, I, I went through grab this and um, basically what I'm doing is just trying to get a kickoff point. But I've got my AWACS flying over here just to kind of see what the scenario what the situation looks like. He doesn't appear to have any in these cities over here so I think to move on to the mainland and I kind of went through and moved some of these uh, units over here I am going to go ahead and I don't detect any ships or anything like that in this area so I am just going to go ahead and move down here and grab Naples uh, I didn't check the city before I moved him out he's at 30% so I could I got another unit coming over here though this uh, this unit right here is moving over into the city, so he should be okay. And uh, he's at 31% as far as morale. There's still a chance he could decide he wants to go crazy. I'm just seeing if I can free up any of my troops. I've got this guy coming through here to uh, basically finish off what's left of France over here. I had a bunch of uh, aircraft over here that I really don't need. Uh, flying around. I'm going to send them back to where they came from. Uh, and this guy here, I'm going to send him back down to my, uh, so he can reconstitute down in here. Okay. Uh, just like we talked before, we want to make sure that these units, uh, I can move him down here for a little while. I don't think I'm going to be using them. And the I'll be using them in the few in like the not too distant future, but I don't need them hanging around over here. I can send them down, let them reconstitute, and then I will be ready to go. Now I'm going to move this other AWACS up into here so I can kind of keep an eye on what's what's happening in this area. And I've got this infantry unit with recon. I'm going to go ahead and pull him, you know, and I'm going to send him, I'm going to send him up on here too, just to get them ready to rock. So, all right, so supply situation. So I've started building some advanced weaponry and I've started to run out of electronics and components. And I talked about that initially. So your initial game, you're pulling a ton of supplies because you're building infantry units. Now I'm building more advanced units and I'm using different things. So I need to uh, kind of push this out. Uh, let's check one more thing. So I pushed my AWACS up. Um, and I think I pushed my railgun. Nope, I haven't pushed my railgun out to the limit yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So he's my next research component. I am going to 
come over here and start to, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to look over here in my own capital where I, I need to put more arms industry being built over here, but I don't have it set up quite yet. I can get components over there. I will go ahead and just build a uh, local industry over here. It's pretty cheap to do. Uh, do I have any other locations? I don't think I've got enough points left to... Uh, Oh, I do. I can put an arms industry down here. And we're going to start harvesting more boards and components. And see, I'm pulling... Yeah, I am using... I'm starting to use more boards as well because of the aircraft that I'm building. So over here, I'm putting together a stealth aircraft, stealth strike fighter. And I will continue to use that or to develop those. And the other thing I'm developing too is I need to get more of these warheads. And I need to develop a theater defense air system because if just in case somebody decides to go nuclear, I need to be able to protect my home uh, cities. Okay, I've still got this guy flying around. We're going to send him back down here as well. Okay, so plan going forward. I am going to land in Italy. I could knock Italy the rest of the way out because there's not really a whole lot, but I'm going to focus on France right now. I'm going to seize the southern part of Italy, push my way up, and then seize his home. Uh, what do you want to call territories up here? Um, and knock him completely out of the game. And where that puts us and the score right now is right now we're second. It's just going to move me farther up along into the score. Maybe catching the UK, but I kind of doubt it. But uh, I'll far furnish up firm second in this game. Uh, not sure how much longer. There's only really two alliances left. There's us and this other alliance. Um, and we are well ahead of them right now, so I'm not too concerned about this game at this point. I think it's just playing through. Could go nuclear or they could. What I'm always concerned about is I've pushed most of my forces well up into the north and I'm going into Europe now. I don't have a lot down here in my home territories and I need to probably build up some just in case because I mean my worst case scenario is somebody lands over here on this coastline over here and pushes into my home cities and then I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. So we want to, but if I look over here, South Africa's got a lot of stuff, so they hopefully would come to my rescue, but that's not guaranteed. So I can shift air units back down here pretty quick, um, and I can shift some some units, uh, you know, my land units, but it's going to take a little bit more time, so I just need to put some stuff down here to protect, and that's what I'm building out some of these other rail guns for is with that in mind. So uh let's look before we leave one more thing at production so my production queue over here is still open and i can build more fighter aircraft what i want to do is build more of these stealth fighter aircraft but i need to get my air base up to level five and i think when we looked at this it's level three is what it's building up to right now but i will hold off on putting any more strike aircraft together until I get these stealth aircraft. And the reason I'm building the stealth ones is I think when I re-engage this other alliance, it's going to have a, probably some... I, I, my, so if I look over here under my spies, this is uh, the Saudis not too worried about. Russia maybe could be a problem. But they're going to have some anti-aircraft capability, Myanmar. He's building out infantry and attack helicopters. Um, he's building out a lot of infantry. India is kind of, but I, th yep, see, he's got a theater defense system. That's a danger to my normal flying aircraft. So I'll build these stealth units that can go in and take care of that, uh, that anti-aircraft capability. Anyway. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button down below. That'll help others find my videos. And if you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below. That'll help my channel out a lot. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Take care.